as soon as it's ready, as soon as it's working though, I got the designs, they're ready to make. It works really well. So there you go. Wanted to give you a update because a lot of y'all put in the comments, hey, when are you coming out with that, that motor? And so far, not yet. Just, just, just not yet. I don't feel cool doing it and having y'all smoking ESCs or having kind of you know, poor startup. Mm, it's not what I'm after. I really want it to be, I shouldn't say perfect but I really want you to be amazed at what gets released. But the big holdup right now is the ESCs. And I've tried a lot of big ESCs out there, including the Rhino 80 amp to see what happened. <laughs> it, it, it shit itself really fast. Uh, actually, the HP has held up better. Um, anytime that I would just let go of the throttle, the, the uh, Rhino would just completely shut down. Uh, not only the BEC would shut down, but the ESC would shut down and also have to reboot. So it just couldn't handle the back EMF of the motor. It couldn't handle the burst when you release. The motor is pulling a certain amount of amperage and it wants to continue to pull that amperage. So the voltage spike that you get when you just release on this particular motor because it is so big and has such low reluctance. It, ooh boy, let me tell you.